Pretty surprised to show universally negative rating and stuff to be a regular series. VSR, Reginald Scarston, Shamar, Shamar Moore, Maggie Baird, <coughs> Aaron Paul, Mark Hamill. It's it's too early 2000s. Like with District B13, that was fine. But with this, it's just far too much. Like, there's been this. And Smallville, Smallville will always be a timeless classic because it, you couldn't tell that it was made in the early 2000s. Like, the only way that you can is through the quality of the camera. That's it. I can't get the anime for some reason because there's a Netflix show called The Future Diary, which is nothing to do with the anime. But The Future Diary anime... No ratings, no cast. I didn't like it, although I thought it was something else from the description that I was given because I I thought it would have been like some something like Dangarampa. You know, trapped in this place and you have to you have to kill everyone else, but no. Apparently not. Twenty four hours to live, universally neg oh actually mixed ratings. Ethan Hawk, Paul Anderson. It's, mm, it's somewhere between bad and and all right, but it's just a rip off of John Wick. Elf and Light, universally positive ratings. I know it's gonna be shocked that I watch it. People are like, "What are you doing watching that? That doesn't seem like your style, Dylan." Yeah, it is. Uh, it's also the style of no one that I recognize, uh, but I liked it. Um, this is the, definitely the darkest show that I've ever watched. Um, no, I I don't love it. I just like it. 